Hello everyone, this will be a video of, well, what else? A Wheelock 7002T. This particular one is a Wheelock 7002T-24, meaning it's a 24 volt version of the 7002T. Well, let's take a look at the device, shall we? Now, as you can see, most of it is in fact a 34T. All they did was really just stick a strobe on top and wire it in series. I'll get to that in a bit. However, let me just bring it over to the back of the device. Now if we take a look in here, hopefully you can see everything. You get your terminals right here. This is actually why they call it a T. They add the T at the end because it's got the terminals. Otherwise, it would have no T at the end. It would just have pigtail connectors if there was no T at the end, I believe. You got your coil right here, your coil assembly. And you got these two wires right here that go up to the strobe. Now notice how they're wired in series right here with the horn itself. Well, that's pretty much what causes your skip. Because the, the strobe is wired in series, it's draw, taking power away from the horn, pretty much the coil here, and it's bringing power up to the strobe. Now because it sucks up so much power, it takes power away, and it causes it to skip. Now you might notice a few interesting things here. This is actually red. Let me just zoom out here. Here's my other 7002T. I've had this one for a while. Now if you may notice that this is black. Interestingly enough, I think the later models, this one happens to be from 1990 as you see in there. I'll zoom that in. The later models happen to have the uh, this thing red for some reason. Why they did that, I'm not completely sure to be honest. But that's what they did, and it's sort of a feature of the later models. Now let me bring these two in center here. See, this one's black, this is pretty typical, and this one's red. So let me just take this one out of the frame. And I'll show you that date code in a bit. Hopefully you can see that in there. Now it's interesting where they place this date code too. This one says 90. Actually, let me just do this. Hopefully you can see that. There you go. Now if you looked, you haven't noticed, there's the label right there, the sticker label. It says 7002T-24. It's 24 volts DC. Now you may notice it's only 0.4 candela. So the strobe on this is not very bright at all. So, there we go. You got to see the 7002T, the behind the scenes, sort of. Now here's the fun part of the video, actually sounding the device itself. So, without further ado, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That was pretty cool. Oh, so what do we got here? I looks like I got the BG-10 again. Didn't we just see that in the system test though? Well, here's the thing, uh, especially with a device from the later 90s like this, I think this is pretty much what the combo would be. I remember seeing these a lot when I was much younger. But anyways, that's besides the point. I think this is from the later 80s, uh, the uh, BG-10. 10 and this is from 1990 this particular device this was made 
I'm not sure when this was device was made, but I think it was introduced somewhere in the 80s. But anyways, that's besides the point. They're both here, so why not? Anyways, what we're going to do is activate it. So, here we go. Three, two, one. And it's reset. No, it's not hooked up to the panel this time around, obviously because it just reset. This is a, just a simple power supply test, so there you go. And you might have noticed how clean it sounds too, the uh, 7002T. You know, let's have some fun. Let's key activate it. And I almost knocked it over. So without further ado, here we go. And there's that. We activated it with a BG-10. Now to put a little bit of a twist on things, I decided to use my Firelight BG-12L. Why, you may ask? If you may recall, if you've been watching my stuff for a while, when I originally tested my 7002T back in 2011, this is pretty much all I had from Firelight. I didn't have the BG-1210 back then. Well, this kind of had to do. So. Why not pay tribute to that video and activate it with this thing? So here we go. Three, two, one. Like I said, this isn't on the panel, so it just resets automatically. Let's do this for fun. Here we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video of, well, what else? A Wheelock 7002T24. And that'll be it. Thank you for watching.